Well, good morning, quirky birders, and welcome to episode one of your daily art challenge this week. And this week, I'm going to guide you through the process um, in very, very small, manageable, um, bite sized chunks. Um, the process of how to um, paint this lovely little uh, picture um, that I've just called Home Sweet Home. So we're going to start off today um, with the drawing process um, and I really don't want you to be um, fearful um, regarding this. Um, it really is very, very simple indeed. We're going to start by um, just drawing in um, our dresser and uh, you can do your dresser however you you wish. Um, you could um, just keep with the single drawer like this or you could put in um, two drawers. But the quirkiness of this, um, this little design is just the way that it's positioned on the paper and therefore the way that it's positioned um, within the frame. So you can just see it's just um, set to one side of the paper and then we've got this lovely um, sort of negative space all the way around um, the actual image. So let's make a start. Um, I've actually got my paper already taped to the board and I always use an old um, sort of A4 mount um, as a bit of a reference when I'm going to be um, framing anything because it's nice to use an A4 piece of paper and then it's also quite nice then that that is then framed within an A4, um, an A4 frame. So I've taped my paper down in the usual way to the board and then using the, um, the mount as a bit of a guide, just overlay the mount over your piece of paper. And you can see straight away that I've actually got some of the tape showing and that's fine. I'm happy with that because I'm going to be painting sort of within this bottom corner of the paper. So when it's actually framed, I can just slide it along and it will sit like that within the frame. So this then is the piece of paper that we're going to be working on today. So very, very simply, we just need to draw in our little um, dresser. And it really, really is quite easy. Now, I have drawn it using a, a ruler. And then what I have done is then gone back over the lines just to soften them a little bit, just using a pencil, because I don't want there to be really quite hard and structural lines. So you just need to keep it sort of fairly, um, fairly sort of fluid and, and not to have really, really strong strong lines. The drawers again are very very simple to do um, and you can do those really really easily um, actually with the the lid of your paint set works perfectly. So let's just jump straight in and uh, we'll get the um, we'll get the um, the drawers drawn up. So like I said to you the lid of your painting is absolutely perfect because it's got these lovely little curved edges that you can really um, make an awful lot of use out of when it comes to, to drawing in the drawers. So thinking about your piece of paper, you need your dresser to come around about just over halfway on your piece of paper. So imagine a central line up through the centre of your paper putting your lid of your paint tin down and think about the height, probably about a quarter coming up. Just draw in a straight line like so. Now everybody's piece of paper or framing on what have you is going to be completely different. So I'm not going to get hung up with regards to different measurements. Um, it's just a case of you drawing your own, your own design. And then again, just using the lid, you need to just score another line along. So you just end up with 
an oblong drawn out. So to put in the top, we'll draw another line. I'll actually draw that a little bit deeper this time because that was a little bit too narrow. That's better. So it's got a nice chunkier top to it. And I'll just get rid of that line that wasn't too correct. And then we can just put a little bit of shape on the end of the of the top and then like I say because you then I don't you don't want it to be sort of quite stark and quite you know really really straight just then go over your pencil lines freehand so it just gives you that little bit of a softer a softer edge to paint draw sits within our dresser and it's up to you you can do a couple of drawers if you so wished um, so you can fill in sort of one this side and then one that side but take this one off the paper so you don't want it to be that it's a finished draw you do just want that that line just to disappear so using the nice round edge of your painting lid pop in the, the drawer. So I'm just going to come round the corner and then using the lid again just allow that to come a little bit further down and come round the corner again and along. And then you can just join that that nice soft edge up. Like so. Like I say, don't worry too much about this. Don't be so don't be sort of caught up about it having to be really, really precise because it doesn't have to be. Because you're going to be painting it and then you're also going to be adding in some of the, the ink um, the details as well. So I just need to make sure that that corner is just nice and soft, like so. Okay. And then for the handles, it's entirely um, up to you how you, you can do that. If you want to just draw them freehand, then you can do, that's not a problem at all. If you want to draw around a pen lid, that also um, works really well. Um, let me just find one that's suitable. So I've just got a little pen lid here. So I'm going to just draw around my little my little lid, and that just gives me that nice shape. And then again. I'm just going to put in the next one. Like so. So we've got some lovely handles. And then the other thing that we need to add is just a little um, a little keyhole which is going to be in the center of our two handles. So we need to think about the middle point. And all you need to do is just draw again another little circle and then a little triangle underneath it, like so. Okay, and that is basically it. That is all you need to do as far as the, um, the drawing of the, um, of the dresser is concerned. Really, really easy very very simple um, with regards to the shapes and the lines don't get too hung up with regards to um, the different sort of um, shapes and it having to be really really precise um, just keep it nice and 
um, and natural and, and then go over it sort of freehand so it's just keeps within that, uh, that quirky style okay so the next thing that we need to do is we can just um, think about then the positioning positioning of the accessories that are going to be sat on top of our <clears throat> our dresser as we're drawing and I've kept the accessories on on the example really really simple so I've just drawn some lovely um, blue and white um, stocking bowls and a little jug and then the other side I've just drawn in a little terracotta pot that we've then, I've then added in some leaves and some red flowers to make them look like little geraniums. So the next thing that we just need to do, um, and we'll be doing that um, in a little while, is we just need to just draw in the jug and just the bowl, because as far as the plant and the decoration is concerned, we do that freehand with the paint. So to do your little bowls, you can start by just drawing in a very, very simple bowl shape. Now these little bowls are sat on top of the, um, the chest of drawers, so we don't need to think about looking at bottoms and giving it any sort of real, real shape because they're sat upon it. So they're gonna have a nice straight bottom. You can add a little bit of shape at the top of the bowl by just putting in a little bit of a, a, an oval shape and like I say just keep the lines um, nice and, and freehand. Now to stack the bowl um, what you can do is we can just draw in another, another one like so and we can even go again to be honest so let's put it in threes this time. So you just end up with a little a little stack of bowls. And then we can then do um, a nice sort of fat belly jug that sits sits behind those bowls. So let's come over with its nice belly. And we'll do the same coming down this side. You can decorate your um, your drawers however you wish. You don't have to um, to put in these accessories that I'm doing. You could turn the jug into a little vase if you wanted to, and maybe put in some stems of flowers. So it's just about sort of being a little bit creative and adding in your own your own accessories. You may have something that's personal to you that you wish to add. Um, maybe a a picture frame or something like that and then we'll just put in the nice a nice handle like so so that's my my jug you can then join up those bowls so you've just got a hint that we can then add in some some different shading just to give them a little bit of depth. And again on the jug, just bring that round. If you're gonna fill the jug with something, then that's that's absolutely fine. So you don't necessarily need to bring that line around. Um, you can then also add in um, some line details if you want to do the blue and white china. But like I say, you can choose how you wish to, to decorate your jug. If you're going to put in the lines for the blue and the, the white, just bring some shape to your lines just to um, allow that, um, that job to be a little bit more sort of two dimensional so it's just got a little bit more shape to it, like so. And then we'll just do the same, we'll add a little bit of detail to our little bowls. I'm just doing the lines a little bit smaller on the bowl so they're going to be a little bit different. 
like so. So that then is the grouping of the um, of the jug and the, the little bowls. Very, very simple. So just to recap, you can start with one of the bowls. You can just put in a second one. If you want to do three, that's great too. So just keep the shape very, very um, sort of simple with a little sort of semicircle and then a nice um, half rounded edge. Draw in your jug. Bring it a nice, give it a nice sort of belly type jug and your lip and then again just bring that line across just to give it that extra sort of three dimensional shape. And then the next thing that you need to do is just the terracotta pot. So again this is very very simple. So we're just going to have some straight sides. Coming down at an angle, we're going to put in a bit of a shape to our little pot, and then we're just going to repeat that by just going and giving it a little bit of a, a lipped edge. Now, what I'm not going to do is I'm not then going to draw the top line. I'm going to leave that and we'll put the top line in once we've um, put in a hint of the, um, the plant that we're going to be adding in. So it's just very, very simple. So two straight lines coming in at an angle and then you just want to bring in your half sort of scooped edge and then just extend that so you've got just that typical sort of terracotta pot lip. And then the next thing, the final thing that you then just need to do is you can just put a little bit of a, a home sweet home type sign um, just at the back of the, the painting. So again, just using your, your painting lid, you just need to draw very, very simple oblong. And then you can just join up the sides Go over it again with free hand so you've just got that nice hand drawn style to your painting um, and then you can put like a little a little pin in the center and just give it um, and then in pencil what you can do is you can um, add the um, the message. I'm just going to put home sweet home on here, but you could actually use um, your family name. So you could put, um, I don't know, um, Barrow family. Um, you could do all sorts of, of little um, fun things in your, your little painting. So I'm just going to, um, just using the, a little bit of paper. Um, I'm just going to just very neatly just write out home sweet home. And then just um, I'm just going to put in a couple of love hearts. it that's all you need to be doing as far as the drawing is concerned so it's very very simple it is just line drawings um, so start and think about the positioning of your chest of drawers and how that is going to sit within your chosen frame and mount so you can see mine is going to sit like so so just draw in about just over halfway of the page, a straight line. Box it off, draw in a nice top, round and edges off. And then like I say, the lid of your paint tin is perfect as far as um, applying this really nice sort of rounded edge to your, your drawers. 
Think about what accessories you would like to see on your chest of drawers. Um, I'm just going to be doing again just the blue and white china and then I've painted, drawn in a um, shape of a terracotta pot to paint which I'm then going to put some nice geranium type flowers in. And then you can have some thought about what you want in your sign which is hanging up on the wall behind, behind your, your lovely dresser. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I haven't scared you off with the drawing. Please do attempt it. Like I said to you, it is really, really quite simple. Um, and join me um, tomorrow for episode two, where we're going to be starting to paint in our lovely um, dresser. Have a good day. Enjoy your painting. I'm here if you need me. And I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.